How y'all doing? What's, hey, Brad, how are you? what's that challenge look like against that uh, San Francisco offense? I mean, Trent Williams is considered probably the best <laughs> tackle in the game. Yeah. What, what, how do you look at this, this challenge this week for you personally? Uh, we just look at it as an opportunity to get better, man. Uh, like you said, one of the best tackles to play the game. Uh, look at it as a challenge when it comes down to those one-on-one -on -one matchups. Uh, understand that this is where big boy football comes to play. You know what I mean? They, they like to run the ball. Um, as a front seven, we got to make sure we're stout in the run and uh, so we can get to those pass opportunities and stuff like that. But for the most part, man, we just got to do our thing. We know what they present, what they bring, and we just got to be able to match the intensity. What makes Trent Williams so good? Uh, just uh, the, the savviness he has. You see him on film kind of like doing pass rush moves, honestly, on, on guys to like knock their hands off and knock them on the ground and stuff in the run game. Um, he's just very athletic in the pass. He, he, he has great feet. Um, so it's uh, it's one of the like you said one of the best tackles in the league. So it's going to be a great challenge for us. There's obviously a lot more tape out there of Jimmy G. What challenges that offense pose when he's leading it? Uh, I feel like they're probably a little bit more comfortable when he was leading it. You know what I mean? With uh, Trey Lance, they're still new to it, trying to figure out what they want to do. But Jimmy G's been the guy for a couple of years now. So uh, saw them kind of get into their into their groove of things and um, kind of on track with how they throw the ball. He's into that quick three step and get the ball out and hit the uh, hit the receivers where he wants to hit them. So we just gonna have to get, do a good job on the front seven, getting our hands up when he does do those quick passes. And when our time and pre opportunities present, present themselves, I'm sorry, um, we just got to make sure we get after them. Your, co your coach is, uh, you know, in a firestorm with decisions and delay of games and those kind of things. Where are you and uh, the locker room at on with that? Man, we just sticking by him. Uh, every chance we get, we're at a point right now where we're one and one. Uh, we know we could have had, we could be two and zero, oh, um, but we had mistakes and stuff like that. So we're not, you know, what I mean, we're not withering away from him. We're not like going against him. Everybody's on the same page. Everybody's locked in and um, trying to push the thing to two and one. Bradley, when you play a really good tackle, how important is kind of staying positive or persistence to know that? You might not win every rep, but you got to be ready late in the game in case you get that one. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, that's that's your mindset towards every game. You know what I mean? You want to be – all these tackles in the league are good, so you might not win every rep all the time. So, at the end of the day, you want to be uh, you want to be on the winning end more than you are on the losing end. And uh, just got to make sure you continue to fight each play, even when he gets the ball out. Make sure you do your job, get your hands up, do whatever it takes to, to affect the throw. And then just be patient and let those opportunities come to you. Is Ever DJ since DJ Jones a resource this week? I know he worked Cameron, but you specifically with DJ. Is he a resource this week? Can yeah, for sure. He's, he's uh, letting us know what uh, what to look out for, what to see, um, tendencies and stuff like that, that that he picked up on while he was there. So he's a, a big resource for us, for sure. Can I have a couple more? Bradley, what's uh, Brady Gregory brought to this team, not only just on the field, but just as a personality in the locker Just energy, man. Uh, just the dude he is, walking around, making people laugh. Uh, Quiet at first, but when you get to talk to him, when you get to know him and stuff like that, he's a he's a great dude. Um, always finding uh, like just stuff to laugh about, stuff to you know what I'm saying. Make sure he's always on the positive note. And when he comes out here in the football field, y'all see what he what he's done: the two forced fumbles, the sack, um, just uh, all the things he does as a player. He's just a, a great, as great as a person. Draymond also had a couple of sacks this past week. Do you notice that you're opening up lanes for him? He's an open up lanes for you, and same with Randy. Yeah, man, it's just uh, it's all one cohesive effort when we up there, and we understand that. That's why we uh, make sure we stick together when it comes to the rushes and stuff like that. Um, Draymond ate, Randy ate. I got to eat the first week, so at the end of the day, as long as somebody eating, man, we're just having a good time and uh, understanding that. Uh, if we're having struggles or anything, something like that, it's not going to last for long because all the other guys we got, you know what I'm saying, rushing the quarterback and getting after them and, and making sure we're all one unit, like I said. Bradley, I know I know a lot of your focus is Trent Williams and Jimmy Garoppolo, but how much do you have to be aware of where Debo Samuel is because of how they use him so many different Yeah, ways? I mean, he's a, the jack of all trades for that offense. He'd line him up in the backfield, line him up at receiver. Uh, he could probably play some quarterback if he needed to. So, like, uh, we got to make sure we know where 19 is at all times. And uh, his big thing is running after the catch, we're making big plays after the uh, first contact. So, we got to rally to the ball, make sure we all um, one big effort to get him down to the ground. Bradley, thank you. Appreciate you.